Since you're here viewing this video, you probably already know that a diode permits an electric current to flow only in one direction and not in the other, like a check valve. Simple enough. But when it comes to understanding a circuit with a diode and placing the actual component to get the current flowing in the direction you want, it can become confusing. For example, say you're designing a circuit containing a diode and you want to try to get an understanding of how the circuit will work. You may first go back and recall what most people learn these days about electricity. That electricity is a flow of electrons through a conductor, usually in the form of a wire, and this flow is called an electric current. And this flow of electrons flows from the negative to the positive. You may then find what appears to be a standard diode diagram and proceed to connect your circuit. So I have a 9 volt battery. Uh, the poles are marked on the battery. Negative and positive. I use red for positive and black for negative. And we have a little motor here we're going to operate. And to first confirm that the motor does work, we'll hook it up. Whoops. Yeah. Hit my fingers, but get this stuff out of me. Does work. So now I got a diode I'm gonna stick in here and see that the band is on this side. So according to the information I have and the little diode diagram, I would perceive it would work like this. Away from that blade. You connect it and nothing happens. I'm sure the connections are good. Yeah. But it's not working. So why doesn't it work? Well, it's because of those two pieces of information. That electricity is a flow of electrons from the negative to the positive, and that diode diagram. They're from two different schools of thought, and they don't mix. That diode diagram isn't indicating the flow of electrons as a current. There are two theories of electric current flow, called conventions. The original one is from the time of Ben Franklin, where it was believed that electric current flowed from the positive to the negative. Nowadays, that's called the conventional current. The second, more current theory is from the time of Fleming, 1904, where it was observed that electrons flow from the negative to the positive and it's called the electron current flow. So if you personally hold to the convention that electric current flows from the positive to the negative and put a diode in a circuit, it will look like this, where the arrow in the diode symbol indicates the direction of the flow. And if you hold to the convention that electrons flowing from the negative to the positive is the current, the circuit with a diode will look like this. But notice that whether you hold to one convention or the other, the diode has the same orientation. So I just had to flip the diode in my circuit demonstration in order to get it to work. So in order to get this working, I'm going to need to switch this diode around. So the arrow that you see in the diode symbol is not pointing in the direction of the electron flow. We hook it up this way and it works. I may be wrong, but I think the confusion stems from the diode symbol itself and maybe some politics. When Fleming first invented the diode, it was a vacuum tube. It had a pointy filament that emitted electrons to a flat plate. 
And that Fleming valve arrangement became the symbol for a diode. The flat plate and a little pointy filament. That's what they're calling the diode. And this is from this book here. And the copyright. First copyrighted in 1943 and later in 1953. And somewhere around there, I think the conventional current concept got worked in and they kind of flipped the diode symbol around. So now you got a pointy arrow here to a plate and in the conventional flow it's going to go this way from positive to negative. So it now has to be explained that the electron current flow is in the opposite direction of the symbol arrow. And this book is around that same time frame, um, uh, 1955. And these are some older books that were given to me by my uncle. And this is how they were teaching back in the 1940s and 50s that the electron theory of current flow is the accepted theory, but you'll still find the conventional flow sometimes used in certain types of electrical equipment. When I talk about electric circuits, I tend to refer to the electron current flow probably because that's what's in the books that I have. And like in this one, it's showing the current going in the opposite direction of the arrow in this diode. And some people say, well, this is wrong because in their mind, they're thinking of the conventional current. But as long as you keep these uh, components oriented the same, you're still going to get a circuit that works the same. And people can argue about what flows what way, but no matter what convention you hold to, hold to it through the whole circuit, because if you try to combine them, that's where things get messed up. So I hope this video will help a little bit to explain the confusion.